What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Walking on Water. In today's episode, we are gonna talk about bobber dogging and float fishing for winter steelhead. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and we're moving into Christmas and it's got me freaking thinking about winter steelhead. And as you can tell, it's freaking snowing and snowed. It's a giant snowstorm's coming in tonight and we've been basically locked in our house. So we're gonna dial in our setups. We're gonna talk about them. We're gonna teach you guys how to set them up. Go ahead and comment down below how your guys' Thanksgiving went and if you guys had any Thanksgiving fails because we had a great Thanksgiving but there's always a lot of funny stories around the holidays and I would love to hear them. All right guys if you look down here at this picture the analytics below 93.3 percent of people that come across the channel are actually not subscribing. It is free to subscribe and 6.7 percent of people actually are subscribing. Thank you guys for all the views and everything like that but please hit the subscribe button it's free to you and we're doing giveaways all the time and on that note we have a lose Mach 2 baitcaster combo giveaway happening right now on the channel. It's been going for a long time i know that we're trying to reach that 4,000 hour watch time and we are super close but i've decided since it has been going for so long that if we do not hit it by the new year we're going to go ahead on new year's and give the rod away free live to one of you guys that has subscribed liked and commented on a video we're going to put your guys' name in a wheel we're going to spin it up and we're going to give that brand new rod to one of you guys but in today's video we're going to go over float fishing bobber fishing for winter steelhead how to set it up get you guys out on the water to bonk one of those giant steelhead all right guys so First of all, we have a lamy glass. This is a medium heavy. It's a 12 to 25 pound rod. Um, I like using a little bit bigger rod for winter steelhead because you know we're only going out there to bonk the big ones. We don't even catch small fish, so we just catch big ones, okay? That's what we're all about. We're gonna get the big ones this year. Um, I got an Okuma just spinning reel with a 25 pound mono line on it. I, you can go all the way down. Some people run 15, all the way up to 25 and we're gonna run 25 here today. And if you look down here, the ingredients that we have for our bobber dogging setup is one float or bobber. We have a bobber stop, a bead, and then of course a jig head. This is a quarter um, weight jig head right here. And we are gonna put this on the rod for you guys right now, just so we can set it up quickly. This is just one of many winter steelhead techniques that you can use. Um, this is great for float fishing down the river if you're in some kind of raft or boat, or even if you're in a good hole where you can cast out and you can watch that bobber float down the river and you can adjust this setup as well. So no matter what depth the water is, if you got a bigger current, a bigger flow of water, or even just um, a sh more shallow pool that you're fishing, you can adjust this so you can fish all types of different um, bodies of water and different fishing holes for these winter steelheads. So let's just get right into it and let's set this thing up. Okay. So first of all, we're going to grab our main line, just like, so we got our main line. First thing we're going to do, we're going to grab our bobber stop. Okay. One bobber stop. It's got a little black tube in there. You're just going to insert the tube, the line inside the tube. Okay. Just like that. And then you're going to pull it up. Okay. You're going to grab the base of the tube, just like so, and you're going to shimmy the pink line right here up on, and then you're gonna pull the tube off, okay? Then you're gonna grab each string, each tag into the pink string, and you're gonna pull it tight just like so, okay? Then there's our bobber stop just like that. That is now adjustable. You can slide it up and down your line, but you can't just have the bobber stop on there alone. It requires a bead so that bobber stop doesn't sink into the bobber itself and the bobber goes up over your bobber stop. So. We're gonna slide our little bead on here, on the line, just like so, up to our bobber stop, just like so. This setup, again, is super simple, super easy, and extremely effective and extremely versatile. You can fish it anywhere for many different kinds of species of fish, but winter steelhead, floating the river, drifting a good hole, or any kind of current is absolutely what you wanna do with this setup. So. Then we're gonna slide our bobber on just like that. So now we have our bobber stop, we have our bead, and we have our bobber, okay? And so our bobber and the bead are gonna go up against that bobber stop and stop, just like so, okay? Then when you're fishing a hole that's a little bit deeper, you can just adjust it up. Let's throw the jig on here and we'll look at it as a hole. Okay, grab your jig. Just put your line through the hole like so. I'm just gonna do a standard fisherman's knot where I just do eight wraps. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Gonna put it back through the loop, just like that. If I can get it, there it is. And then you're gonna put that through the big loop, the line. Grab the tag in, just like so. Pull it down, spit on it a little bit, suck it tight. 
bite the tag end off, okay? Now, let's look at this setup as a whole. We have a bobber, okay? We have a bobber, we have a bead, we have the bobber stop, okay? When it's sitting there like this, the bobber will float down to, to the bottom of the jig like so. Then when it's in the water and that current's pulling it, this weighted jig is gonna go down in the water and this bobber is gonna go all the way up to the top of the bobber stop like so. If you need to adjust the bobber stop, you simply just grab it, pull it down. Sometimes you need to tighten it back down because these things can slide on mono line pretty easily. So if it's not tight, you will have, um, in, a, in a heavier current, you will have some um, push or pull on this thing where the bobber stop actually wants to go up or down. So make sure it's good and tight. Um, even sometimes you can just dab on the outside a little acrylic nail polish just on the top. You don't want to hit the line with it just so it tightens that thing up a little bit and it's just really solid. Just make sure that if you do do that or make that choice that you're not touching the line with that stuff because you don't you do not you do not want this thing to be set in place you do want it to move up and down because you do want to adjust it if you're fishing deeper or shallower water okay so again this is a very simple setup that we're running for winter steelhead this year and it's gonna bonk us a lot of giant fish and this is just the beginning of a simple setup series for winter steelhead that we're running here on the channel so i hope you guys enjoyed it hey, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of walking on water um Winter steelhead is such an amazing fishery and it's such a fun fish to catch. So make sure you guys are getting out there, commenting down below how big of a steelhead you guys have caught in the past and where you guys are planning on fishing this year. You don't have to give exact details on the spots, obviously, but just where you guys are fishing at and what you expect out of this year's 2023 winter steelhead season. So lose Mach 2 baitcaster combo giveaway is happening on the channel right now. Um, on the new year, we're gonna give it away if we do not meet the threshold, the goal of the 4,000 watch hours. So stay tuned for that, going live, giving that rod away. Merry Christmas, see you guys next time.